Hi everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'm going to review Your Physique, November 1948. Apologies already, I've got a little cold, so if I'm sniffing through the video, it's because of that. Uh, we've got a great cover here with Floyd Page uh, doing an overhead, uh, I guess overhead arm pose here. He was quite, um, I've done a video on Floyd Page and he was rather uh, a large, had a large physique for his, uh, for his time in the late 40s. Um, and I really admire his his fantastic ability to display his large uh, muscular body without looking too freaky back in the day. Um, as I said, it was very unusual to have such a large, well, uh, I guess very very large muscular uh, mass on, on on such a smaller frame. Uh, Floyd Page looking phenomenal there. Let's see uh, this particular issue. Now at the time, muscle power was also running, and interestingly, you can already start seeing Wader advertising uh, his, uh, I guess, his courses and his barbells and things, and his products using uh, photos of Reeves, uh, Alan Stephen, Eric Pedersen, Clarence Ross, and basically starting to call himself the trainer of champions. This later became, I guess, his slogan. But you can see the, the beginnings of it here, line up with the champions and matchless physiques of waiter pupils. So he's kind of already insinuating that these people are all, these greats are all of his pupils, which they were not. Uh, uh, so Moving through the magazine, I don't really go through the boys department because I think it's a little bit uh, homoerotic and I'm not into that. Some of you may be, I'm not. The first true article that I found interesting was a personal interview with Alan Pavio. Oh, sorry, my phone's uh, dying. I hope this video lasts. Uh, now, I'm going to do a separate video on Alan Pavio because I found him very interesting. He's actually, uh, he competed back in the day, I think in around 1948, and came second in the Mr. Canada. I have to check that, don't quote me on that. But, um... He's, he's got a very interesting story, and as you can see, his physique is very aesthetic and classic. It's very similar to, to a Reeves physique, and I really want to cover this, this young guy. I thought he was fantastic. Uh, now, there's a really expanded um, article here on Alan Stevens' arm development, um, specifically the triceps and the biceps, and I really, I have to admit, I really enjoyed this article. Alan Stephen goes into great detail of some very unusual exercises, such as the towel pulley, um, the uh, non-cheating barbell curl, reverse curling, incline dumbbell curls, a giant Zotman curl, and uh, kneeling concentration curls. I, I thought it was this, this is one of the best articles I've read so far on arm development, uh, and, and we're talking about the late forties, where there wasn't really much information still back then on bodybuilding. I will cover of course this in a separate article. Then there's how sex affects your muscles. Increasing muscular definition by Earl Liederman was an, uh, another excellent article and this focused on using posing. Posing, isometric contraction to bring out musculature. So I thought that was a great article. Another really good article um, was this one, IFBB Notes. We can see here Eric Pedersen wrestling with Floyd Page and you can really see Floyd's back. I mean, he looks just huge here. And Eric Pedersen's super peaky, phenomenal arm development. Um, of course, this match was a draw and it was at Burt Goodridge's gym. Another interesting article was Michael Douglas's father, Kirk Douglas. He was actually a bodybuilder. Incredible, I didn't know that. Um, so you really do find little bits of history in these um, in these magazines. And there was a good article by David Willoughby on shoulder development. I also think this might uh, n uh, this might deserve a separate uh, a separate uh, video. But what I love is the photos of Steve Reeves that I've never seen before performing presses behind the neck and all forms of lateral raises. There was some great information on on uh, developing shoulder mobility and um, why the press behind the neck 
according to Willoughby, Willoughby was more of a triceps exercise than more of a than than deltoid. Besides that, there are other articles like uh, graph the, a new graphic method of judging the physique by Willoughby again. Excuse my bookmarks. Uh, the story of Jack Johnson completes in this article with part two. Uh, Mr. Pacific Coast, 1948, won by Bill Melby. And um, so as I said, uh, one by Bill Melby. Uh, that was Mr. Pacific Coast, 1948. And that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this video review of Your Physique, 1948 November. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.